to brace yourselves for this. Come over here. So you can still walk. You were in bad shape when we pulled you from the front line. I don't know how I feel about untested adventurers volunteering their aid in this fight. But my men need all the help they can get. That blasted Dracolich is tearing through our ranks. Protector's Enclave needs reinforcements. Fight your way to the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. If you see a particularly imposing tiefling, that's Makos. Do what you can to aid him. Before you go, make sure to arm yourself for the trials ahead.
into the keep. Ah, good. You look capable. We are preparing to push towards the bridge and rendezvous with our cleric Celeste and the soldiers holding the line there. We need to move quickly before the Dracolich returns. It's time to put an end to this beast! Find its soul before it rises again. Make haste. You did well to keep the undead at bay. We are holding the line here while we treat the wounded. I fear the bridge is in worse shape. You would do well to assist there. Seek out Sergeant Knox once you've crossed the bridge. Go on ahead. I will meet you there. Trouble! We must go to their aid!
I believe I'm in your debt. You fight quite well. When you are ready, we should move on to protect his enclave. Welcome to Protector's Enclave, adventurer. Celeste and I need to speak with Lord Neverember about Valindra's attack. You should meet Sergeant Knox at the Adventurer's Guild nearby. I've sent word ahead that you're on your way. Oh, and thank you for your aid in battle. All of Neverwinter owes you a debt of gratitude. Protector's Enclave needs your help. So, you are the one who saved Makos. Ha <laughs> ha! Neverwinter may have a new hero in the making. Well, it was a hard-fought battle, but the city is safe once again. Thank you for your help in defending the city from Belinda's attack, and welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. You've proven you can handle yourself, and that makes your membership in this fine adventurer's guild all but guaranteed. As a reward for your deeds, I've arranged a few things. Speak with our mount salesman, Brendan Cantor, and then enter the training for some combat training. I'm sure you can still learn a thing or two, and a new skill is worth its weight in gold. If you have any questions, Need a horse, armored bear, gelatinous cube. We may have it all. Good man, that Sergeant Knox. Lord Never Ember has decreed that Shonda Cool Stables is to give willing adventurers a free horse. We are, of course, more than happy to help and not the least bit upset at how much these horses normally cost to rent, let alone buy. Let's get you started, shall we? Welcome to your own personal demiplane, courtesy of Tarhun's magic.
your trainer's help, I'll shape you into a fine adventurer, able to take on any foe. The first thing we need to work on is keeping you alive. You're no use in a fight if you're dead. So, let's practice your defensive techniques. You look like the type to get out of the way of an incoming strike, rather than risk a lethal blow. <laughs> Dodging is your specialty, I bet. If a foe can't hit you, you can't lose. <laughs> when you're dodging, you'll want to keep an eye on your stamina. Each time you dodge, you will lose some stamina. Your stamina will regenerate over time when you aren't dodging. So practice the timing and dodge just before the enemy strikes. Understand how to gain combat advantage on your foe. Let's begin. You gain combat advantage when you have successfully flanked your foe. You can achieve this by putting your foe in between you and an ally. If you can manage this, you will both deal more damage with your strikes. Note the ring on the ground when you target your foe, and watch it as it changes color. You have moved into the proper position. Then, when you are ready, strike the flank. that your foes can flank you as well. Do what you can to watch your back. Don't let yourself get surrounded. Now, next lesson. Every adventurer has the potential to learn a special technique. What technique you master will depend on your particular set of skills. Are you ready to unlock your potential? As a wizard, your spell mastery allows you to utilize an additional encounter power in combat. Whichever ability you choose to master will be more powerful, and sometimes gain special effects. Simple enough, eh? <laughs> Let's give it a try.
done. I see real potential in you. Now, this next technique is a bit different. You've recently gained a mount of your own. Your mounts are powerful allies and can actually grant you new abilities in combat. Be sure to look out for new powerful mounts on your journey and find the powers that best suit your style. For now, show me what you can do. This adventuring thing really comes easily to you. You're ready for the final test. Your trainer and I think we can unlock your ultimate potential. As you battle your foes, you'll feel yourself generating action points. When you've built up enough action points, you can unleash your daily power. A powerful ability that can turn the tide in a battle. We will help you generate action points here. So show us the best you've got. we meet, I expect you to be even stronger. Ha! You're eager. That's good. If you survived Corbin, I'm sure you're ready for anything I can throw at you. You should know, whenever you're unsure of what to do next, check your journal. Take a look at your adventures within, and be sure to claim the rewards the guild offers for your deeds. With all you've done, you're a fully-fledged member of the Adventurer's Guild now. Congratulations! I'm sure you're ready for work, and believe me, there is plenty to go around. In fact, I have a task of particular importance in mind. on the city wasn't the last we'll see of Valindra. I'm sure of it. I believe she is now working towards some wicked end in Neverdeath Graveyard. A troop of my gods just returned from there with reports of red wizards and necromantic rituals. I need you to venture into the graveyard and speak with Doom Guide Volok. Put a stop to whatever Valindra is plotting.
resources are stretched to their limits. The number of them dead in the graveyard is growing at an alarming rate. If something is not done, I fear they may run the rest of Neverwinter. I sent a detachment of Doom Guides to deal with the undead in Walker's Field. Their leader, Doom Guide Severin, sent an acolyte back to tell me they were descending into the area known as the Wind. But since then, we heard nothing. I would like you to find those missing Doom Guides. Speak to Acolyte Maven. She can tell you. I am Doom Guide Volok, the Eternal Order of Kalimbor. It's my mission to see Neverwinter's cemetery reconsecrated and the city purged of the undead. In the last few days, there has been an alarming surge in the number and power of undead creatures rising from their graves. The city is in dire peril unless they are contained. We were caught by surprise. Many of my acolytes died, overwhelmed in a sea of the unliving. I ordered the survivors to fall back here, to the approach. We will not hold this point long, should the undead attack in force. There are dark rituals that can strengthen the undead, but to cause an uprising on such a scale, this must be the power of power necromancers. Red wizards of the main have been spotted in Pauper's field. I wage a to the entrance. Clearly, she has not been idle since her initial attack on the city was repulsed. I'm so worried about Seven and the others. Let me know what I can do to help. We spotted creatures moving in the rift that were not undead. Severin suspected they might be behind the mass rising of the dead. He wanted to investigate. He sent me back to inform Doomguide Volok. But that was yesterday. And we've heard nothing since. I grew more afraid of my friends with each passing hour. Please, you must find them.
you dare disrupt the ritual? Please send these poor souls back to the finals. 